going to talk about the sweep and channel kit. All right. I'll show you what comes in a kit for a two door 49, 50 or 51. Okay. What you will get is four of these sweeps and on the two door, they're rather long sweeps. Four doors would have eight of these shorter, of course. And then you're going to get for a two door, two of these channels. This would be for the 4950. This would be a channel for the 51. I'll explain why they're different here pretty soon. Then you're going to get little screws um, and, and the same thing for the rivets. And I'll show you what we do with those. Then there's two bat wings. I don't know why they're called bat wings, but they are. Uh, that's what they call them. And you're going to get two of those. First, Let's talk about the differences between the 49 through 51s. The 49s, if you notice in the garnish molding, the vent window is attached to the garnish molding. That's part of the vent window. This part, which is the channel, would sit down inside the door. It would bolt, I don't know how to do this so I can show you. It bolts down inside the door such that when it's all together, it's like this. It makes up the back side of your vent window and it is the channel side for your roll up and down window. That's how 49 is designed. 50 they changed it. In 1950 the garnish molding is plain, no vent window, because the vent window has its own framework. And this framework, if you notice how similar it is to the 49 framework, very similar, it's just that it is now attached to your vent window frame assembly. It's an assembly now. So it would go into the door. Your channel is here for your roll up and down window. And everything else is basically self-contained. Here's your vertical uh, seal for your vent window. Now in 51, they were getting with it by 51. They went, uh, this is a style you'll see clear into the 60s. They have what they call a rigid division bar. It's the same setup as the 50, but this is not an insertable channel. So you notice I told you we had these two channels that comes in a kit for your 51. This is a rigid channel. This channel you have to rivet into the framework and you have to take this paw here and rivet it onto the end of the channel. It rivets up in here, thus this piece, this piece is actually removed. And this sets into this stainless piece up here, is riveted to, it's kind of hard to see this, but it's riveted to the framework. Can't get this apart, it's only 60 years old, I wonder why it doesn't work. Anyway, it's riveted to this framework in through here, okay? So that has to all be replaced. Whereas on your 49 and your 50, this is not a rigid channel, it is bendable, but you merely lift this out and then you put this channel in its place. Notice how, one way to notice, I've had customers ask me, well, how do I know if it's a 50 or 51? It's easy to tell because if you notice, the 50 does not have the stainless bead on the channel the car channel makes up for the stainless edge, okay? So that's an easy way to tell. If you don't have a round beading here, if you look here, notice the round beading that's on this actual channel. It's part of the channel and it's, it's rounded here and you'll see it rounded here. So if you don't know if you have a 50 or a 51, you don't even have to take your car apart. All you have to do is just look at the car well, I've got this round beading. Okay, that's a 51. If you look at this, well, I don't have that round beading. Okay, you have a 50. Because this channel doesn't need the round beading. It just lays in there. Anyway, that's what you get in your kit. Now you're going to say, I don't understand these bat wings. And I'll say, that's a good thing to ask, because you don't. The bat wing, if you notice, has a little clip here and a clip here. And of course, this nice long tail here. Okay, the bat wing goes inside your door like this and clips into what we call the hourglass bracket, is what you call the hourglass bracket. 
This does not come in the kit. This is part of the door. The door has this bracket in it yet. This screw hooks here. And the other hole is this screw which holds it in the door. That's what holds this bracket in the door. Then you're going to bring your bat wing. And if you notice here how that's designed and how the bat wing is designed. Such that you can insert it. Let's see if I can do this. And as this slides down, as this slides down, it will catch in this slot here. This little tab will slide in there. So this bracket stays in the door. This hourglass, or the bat wing, snaps into that hourglass bracket. Then there's a little screw that holds it all in place up here, the tail. All right? Okay, here's the little screws that come in the kit. Use the screws on the door side. Tell the customers to start attaching as you go. So in other words, you take the little screw and you attach it. Now, the reason I suggest using our little screws, if you try to pop rivet that, more than likely, you will put a dimple in your chrome trim. You're apt to dimple from the back side and dimple this stainless. And you don't want to do that. But if you use a little screw that we send with the kit, oops, I'll drop it here. The screw is more controllable. And I tell my customers to do this, bend this strip. This is bendable. But bend it as you go. Don't try to bend it up outside the door. Bend it as you attach it. So in other words, you would attach it here and you just start bending it till it matches the door curve. And duh, I better do it the right way. Notice the stainless beading I have to have towards the inside. Anyway, you bend it as you attach and bend and attach and bend. And when you get done, you'll have it so that it follows this around just like the factory. This is still the old factory one. If you try to bend it like this out of the door, you'll probably end up kinking this. But if you take your time and attach and then bend, you'll probably have a very nice piece when you're done. On the garnish side, on the garnish side, do the same thing, attach as you go, but use a pop rivet, which is much easier. Drill a little hole and use this pop rivet in here. And it really doesn't matter because you aren't going to hurt anything on this side. Just use a little pop rivet. These heads on the pop rivet as well as on the screws are small enough that when you get them attached they'll bury themselves down in the fuzzy and you shouldn't see them. They'll all be kind of like the, the factory staples. They'll be buried so you don't see it. Something that I didn't know and I'm not sure how many of my customers know but from the factory when they put this garnish molding in here, they had a little beading. You'll have to go to your upholster man and have him stitch up some of this beading. But it, all it is is like piping that they use in, in your seats, only this is a real small piping. And they put that around here, and I assume it's sort of like an anti-squeak material. So when you screwed this all together, when you put it in your door, I'm going to do it rather roughly. How did you attach that beading? Or is it just simply Actually, pressing? it's just basically set in there. If you have trouble, you might want to glue it so it stays in place. But when you're all done, the garnish will hold it in place. And really, you don't notice it, you know. And, and most people, I'm sure, if they get a car that's been uh, torn apart, who knows how many times, it probably doesn't have that. And nobody knows it should have that. It's probably all right if you don't have it, except it might create a little squeak and drive you crazy when you're driving down the road. This is what year? Ooh, what year? This would be a 1940. This is a 50. You can notice there's no bead. It's just, and I, I stress this because people will say, well, I've got a 50 Mercury, so I need a, a you know, channel kit for a 50. I'll send them a channel kit and they'll call me back and say, this, this doesn't work. And so I'll talk to them, and what they really will have is a 51 in there. Now, we have to stop and figure, these cars are 60 plus years old. Who knows if the door's been changed, or maybe this vent window assembly's been changed. And they put a 51 vent window assembly in a 50 door. Works just fine. Bolt right in. Everything's fine. Except, our channel kit won't fit if you don't have the correct year.